What's up, guys, and welcome back to Fig Noon's Figures. It's your guy, Fig Noon, and we're back today with another figure review. Today, it's the Marvel Select Beta Ray Bill Special Collector Edition action figure, and I'm super excited about this release, guys. I can't wait to crack them open. We did the PVC diorama review a couple weeks ago, and if you haven't had a chance to see that, make sure you go back and check it out one time. I think that's why I'm so excited about this release here. He looks great. I love the packaging. He comes with the Stormbreaker accessory as well as the Spinning Hammer accessory. This is a 2022 release. I picked this up on Amazon Prime, but you could pick it up anywhere for about $30. And for $30, you're getting a whole lot of bang for your buck. Speaking of buck, Beta Ray Bill looking as crispy as a $100 bill. Check him out there in all of his Corbinite glory. And so with no further ado, guys, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Okay, guys, so I got Beta Ray Bill here out of the packaging, and I just got to say, he looks phenomenal. I said previously that he looked like the PVC diorama. I was completely wrong. He has a completely different look. You get the gold hair on him. You get these big gold buttons that are just shining back at you with the right light. This guy really looks awesome. You get this big flowing cape. It's nice and big. The headdress is flowing there. You can see he looks big and sturdy. He has these big chunky legs on him. He just looks phenomenal, like I said. Let's go ahead and uh, get a closer look first here at this head for you guys. He has the open mouth here, and there's another version of this Beta Ray Bill, the closed mouth version. I went with this one here. I like the way it's scrunched up there, the little wrinkles that they've done. Both are amazing figures, and you could pick up the other one, I believe. Uh, right now, currently, he's available everywhere. But this guy looks great. You got this gold paint here. You got the gold on the belt, gold all the way down to the boots. No additional hands, but I like the hands that they chose to go with because of the accessories that he's included with. A look here at the back of the figure. You get even some shading on the cape that gives it more of a wrinkled, authentic look. You get the shading here from red to black with the with the headpiece there. You get these little Thor-style wings here on the side of the helmet, which is really nice, which is not removable. This uh, This cape comes with these two buttons here. Now, if you wanted to go with the variant look for Beta Ray Bill, you could actually pull these out with a little bit of muscle and remove this cape. I, I honestly don't know why you would do that. I think this just looks amazing. I, I personally am not going to remove that cape. And uh, like I said, they got some uh, gold paint here, but also some blue mixed with some black paint. And I like the way they've gone back and forth to give it a little bit of variation there with the paint apps. Nice and shiny. Just, just really well done. To talk a little bit about the accessories that he's included with, you get the Stormbringer, Stormbreaker, whatever, uh, you know, pick your poison, whatever you like to call it. It's got a nice gold trim, uh, nice gold paint with some brown paint here on this little tassel thing that's kind of soft, not, not too soft, but I like that they've added this here. It looks really good. You have to do that, actually. This is the look. Uh, you also, though, get the Spinning Hammer accessory which i think this has got to be the go-to piece they've done this with the marvel select thor figure that was released I, I don't have that figure but i've seen it on the back of some other packages and i think the only difference here is that this is gold instead of brown or uh, actually instead of uh like that stone look and so this is what i'm going to throw into his hand and like i said i'm glad they went with these hands if you had to you know go with only two hands and uh, i'm going to show you guys how this looks when we assemble this accessory one thing i will say uh this hand is super tight and you may have to heat this up to get an accessory in there i tugged on this thing for for a few seconds and realized you know it takes a little muscle to get it open but the good thing is once we get it in there it's not coming out so i'll go ahead and throw that in there guys and uh we'll be right back okay so here's beta ray bill with the Stormbringer Stormbreaker accessory like i said it fits nice and snug in his hand it's not going to go anywhere I like this hammer. It's just that spinning one is so amazing that I have to go with it. And like I said, I like this hand that they've gone with here. I'm going to show you guys what I plan to do with the spinning hammer accessory. Okay, guys, so I got the spinning hammer accessory in his hands, and I think it looks freaking amazing. I'm so glad they came back to this accessory. Of course, they did it for Thor, but it doesn't feel like it was overly used or they just threw it in there to just give it to you. You know, like, oh, give him, you know, the spinning hammer accessory. No, no, this fits. This works with Beta Ray Bill. I'm very happy about this. It gets a little bit smaller. You can see this hammer as it comes all the way to fruition here at the gold paint. You get some molding in there that really makes it look like it's spinning. You even get the brown there in the middle. That kind of gives you the, the feeling that the handle to this thing is spinning. 
So there's no lack in here in the detail. I think it's a great look. I can't wait to put this in the case. This is the way I will probably display him. It's Beta Ray Bill, guys. My favorite Corbin Knight. Let's talk a little bit about articulation. Okay, guys. So to talk a little bit about the articulation on this figure, uh, the head can go back about that far. You got this big headdress here, but it's going to kind of run into your cape. The head can go down about that far. That's the only thing about this headpiece. Uh, it can't, you know, you're not going to get too much articulation with the head. Another thing is uh, the piece of this helmet here is going to run into your cape before you can get all the way turned around on both sides. So it's hindered a little bit by the look that we get with Beta Ray Bill. Uh, the arms can do a 360 here, but again, they're going to run into this shield. And so you just got to kind of, you got to kind of just work with it to get it all the way around. You're not going to get it all the way pressed straight up. I guarantee you that. Uh, you do get a cut here at the bicep. You get a single jointed elbow, which can do about a 90 degree there. You do get rotation here at the wrist with the hinge, which I like because I'll probably have that hand turned up just like that. You get a diaphragm joint, but once again, the hard molding on the midsection is preventing it from kind of going forward too much. Plus, you're going to get these uh, straps that are attached here, which won't really let you move the figure back too much. So that might be one reason why you want to remove these. Maybe that'll give you a little bit more art articulation. I don't know if it's worth sacrificing the cape to, you know, for the sake of moving him back and forth. Uh, here, this belt is nice and soft, but it is not removable. And under there, you're going to get a swivel at the waist. It's kind of hard to get to that. You kind of got to hold him from the top and the bottom of his legs. I still couldn't get it to go, but I guarantee you it's there. The legs can go about 360 here, but again, they run into the belt. So some issues here with the costume uh, kind of hindering the articulation. You get some uh, swivel here at the upper thigh. There's a cut there. You get a single jointed knee, which can do about a 90 degree angle. You get a swivel here at the lower calf, and then you're going to get a hinge with a rocker for the ankles. The only thing about the ankles here, you get these little discs. And so they're going to run into the arm, uh, the leg again and kind of hinder your articulation. So that's my only gripe is that as, as good as this costume looks, it's kind of bulky. It's a hard plastic and it's going to kind of prevent you from maybe getting some of those dynamic poses that you want from this figure. Uh, overall, I'm still pretty satisfied. Let's go ahead and take another look and we'll give our final thoughts on this figure. Okay guys, so my final verdict on this figure. I gotta say there's some things that I really enjoyed about it and I will continue to enjoy as I look at him on the shelf. The color really pops out. The shading that they did on the feathers, I feel like it really gives it a flowing, natural, feathery type look up there. It kind of looks like this mohawk and I really like that. It gives him some size and really makes him look bold when he's on display. I like the gold paint, how that pops out as well. I feel there's no way once he's on display, you can't feel that your eyes are drawn to this figure. The accessory with the spinning hammer was nicely molded, plus the gold at the top, like I said, pops out again. So as far as those details and color apps go, I think I got to give it a 9 out of 10. Would have liked to see a little bit more shading there on the face, but I'm still pretty satisfied. What really bums me out about this figure is the articulation. I love the shielding, I love the armor, it looks magnificent, but it's going to keep you from moving the arms and legs down one way or the other. Plus the head can't really move side to side all that much. Besides that guys, I am overall satisfied with him and I gotta give him a 7 out of 10. Plus for the price and what we're getting with the packaging, I think you might even have to pick up two of these guys while they're readily available. Let me know what you guys think about this figure if you're a Beta Ray Bill fan and let me know if you're satisfied with this or what you would like to see. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. It's your guy Fig Noon. We'll see you guys next time. Fig Noon now.